So um, I'm actually going to play him a game of Gwent. Um, I need uh, I need to. I think if you play people and beat them, then you get more powerful cards, and I'm going to need more powerful cards if I'm going to beat Stepan. So as is common practice in this playthrough, I'll put a link here on the screen that you can click on to skip past this if you're not interested in watching me play Gwent. Uh, sure, five, whatever, I don't care. Wouldn't mind a few rounds of Gwent. Okay, so we're gonna stick with Northern Realms because I don't have enough cards for the other decks. Um, then so I guess when I pick up cards for the Nilf Guardian Empire, it puts them in there automatically for me. It's kind of what it's looking like. Oh yeah, maybe not. Cynthia. Um. Hmm. I don't know. I'm not real sure how this works. Wow, look at these guys. These are some good cards, right? So I guess I could go ahead and put those in my Northern Realms deck, maybe? Like, get rid of this loser. Why do I have three of these in this deck? How did this happen? I didn't do this. Get rid of those. We'll take, um... Hey, where'd the tens go? Okay, well, I guess that these are our Nilf Guardian cards, and I'm just now noticing that these banners here indicate what faction the card is in. So this gray is Nilf Guardian Empire, so I've got uh, quite a few Nilf Guardian Empire cards here now. Let's go ahead and put all these in that deck. I mean, these guys might as well put them all in there. I don't have enough for a full Nilf Guardian deck, not even close still. Um, so I still have to fight with my Northern Realms deck. Unfortunately, I have to fill my deck with these crappy cards. I need um, three more cards for my deck. And uh, all I have are these crappy number one cards. So I have two of these. We could at least put them together. Then they'll double. Um, did I put them in there? Yeah, two of them. So now I'm at 21 and I need one more card. And we'll put him in there because at least he's got some kind of special ability. Okay. Alright, and then special cards. Um, what special cards do I have? Special cards. I've got a decoy, a commander's horn, a biting frost, clear weather, torrential rain, and impenetrable fog. And I, I guess I have multiples of these. Weather cards. Okay. Well, I guess this is the deck that I'm going to fight with here. Total card strength, 97. Hm. That's probably not very good. Well, let's see if I can actually win a game of this Gwent. So we're both Northern Realms. That's interesting. Uh, choose card to redraw. I don't want to redraw any cards. Or, re or is this like replacing these cards? Is that what's happening here? It'd be nice if I could see the cards, you know? But I can't, so what's this redraw business? I don't... Okay, there we go, now I can see. So, like I got... I don't really have anything... Wait a minute, what's going on here? Oh, okay, this this is my hand. So if, like, for example, I'm like... Uh, yeah, this is my hand. Oh, she's pretty. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So this, this is my, the, my ten cards in my hand. And f let's say if for whatever reason I don't want this card, I can I can redraw and it'll draw another card out of my deck to replace him. Um, which uh, I would probably just end up with um, another number one card anyway. So I'll just stick with what I've got. Who goes first? He goes first. So he plays a one on foot. Interesting. I will play a two on foot. He plays a two on foot. OK. 
Okay. I was actually kind of... I wasn't thinking very well when I did this. That was not a smart move, I don't think. Uh, wow, I have all kinds of foot guys, and I don't have anything for the back row. Hmm, that's kind of things I should probably pay attention to, right? Um, what if I played my decoy and took this card back? I don't know if there's any reason to do that yet. Let's not do that. Let's instead play this. This guy here... Place next to a card with the same name to double the strength. I don't have another card with that name. So... Yeah, we'll just we'll just play one of these. Let's, um... I think I'm gonna... St He's playing melee. I'm gonna play melee as well. In this round. Okay, so now he's playing a ranged card. I can do the same. Uh, he plays another ranged card. Jeez. Um, hmm. If I... Let's see, what would this do? What does this card do? This card doubles the strength of all unit cards in that row. Interesting. Um, hmm, this might be better to save, maybe? And then this sets, this is Siege, that's a Siege card, so that's not going to do me any good now. Man, I feel like we're really going through our cards here quickly. And then my sp special ability for this guy Pick an impenetrable fog card from your deck and play it instantly. Impenetrable fog, I believe, I wish it would tell me, uh, but I believe that negates these guys? Is that right? I can't remember. Boy, it would really help if I knew. Um, but you know, he's playing cards, I'm playing cards. Let's go ahead and just follow suit. We'll stay one step ahead of him. Oh my, okay. My goodness. Hmm. Wow. This is getting crazy. He is whipping out all kinds of cards. Let's go ahead and use this. Put it here. Holy crap, man. So now we're tied. Sheesh. I'm gonna play this. There. That negates this card. Uh huh. He passed, so he's basically forfeiting. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to beat him with these few cards, but we each only have four cards left. Um, I could take this and put it out here. No, I don't wanna do that, then I won't be ahead. If I do this, this will drop me to, um, let's drop me to 18. I'll still be ahead of him. Right? Let's let's take this card back. Okay, so I'm still ahead of him and I can use that card in the next round. Okay? So I won that round. We've each only got four cards left. Oh, okay, but we each have this. He has the same ability that I do, so he'll draw a card as well and we'll each have five. Oh my gosh, look at this. This kind of sucks. All of my cards are, um, I didn't know I had two of these. Huh, let's play this. I'm gonna say, oh, the majority of my cards are melee, and that makes me nervous because if I play these melees, then he could play whatever card negates them. Makes me a bit nervous. I didn't know I had two of those. What's he gonna do? Okay, he's following suit. That's a good sign. I mean, if he's playing this card, he's most probably not gonna wanna play a card that negates that. So we'll put this guy out here, and that'll double these guys. So now I'm up 16. Okay, I'm still in the lead. Um, I'm gonna play the exact same card, just follow suit here. All I need to do is win this round and I think I'm gonna. Okay, I'm still way ahead. He's only got one card left. 
rain. That does nothing to either one of us. <laughs> he has no cards left, so I'm just going to go ahead and play this one just for the heck of it. And... He passes. And it's my turn. And I'm going to pass because I'm in the lead. And I won! And a victory. Yay, I won a round of Gwent. It's kind of exciting. Well, let's see if I get anything cool. That's it? I just get some crowns? Ooh, okay, I received a ghoul card. Okay. Awesome. Let's take a look at the ghoul card. See if it's worth a damn. Where's this ghoul card? It's probably a monster card, right? Monsters. Ghoul. Oh, yay. Look at this crappy-ass card. Uh, really? I want to go ahead and put it in my monster deck, since it's a monster card. That was lame. That was super lame, man. Oh well. I'm just excited that I want a, Gwent, a game of Gwent. Are you? Barbie? Oh, Are you? All right, there's a, uh, let's see, we've got Fergus Graham over here. Let's go talk to Fergus. What's up, dude? How may I assist you? Well, um, well, I could play him, Gwent, but I'm not going to right now. Let's see what he offers. Well, let's, let's ask him this. Looking for a master armorer. Looking for someone who can craft me some armor. Gotta be top quality. Well, I've been out of 20 years now. Master the craft in some respects, if I do say so myself. <laughs> you wish. <laughs> Don't listen to her. She's been sore lately, snorting every chance she gets. So, what kind of armor are we talking about? Light, but durable. Can't constrain movement, and I gotta be able to get in it without anybody's help. Hmm. That all? Sure it shouldn't be self-cleaning. <laughs> and how about it wipe your arse after you take a shite in the bushes? <laughs> strong and light will do just fine. Comfortable, strong and light will do just fine. Ought to know one thing when it comes to armor. If it's got to be durable, it can't be light. It can. Just needs the proper tools to make it. Tools like the folk of Clan Tordoroth use on Undvik. Joanna, I told you time and again to stay silent when I talk to customers. Shouldn't pester folk with those nonsense Skellige legends of yours. It ain't legend, and it ain't nonsense. My granddad would go to Undvik for his armor. Said Tordoroth folk made the best. Till last year, that is, when a giant ravaged their island. Inhabitants either ran off or died, but the forge should still be in one piece. Worth looking into. Say I find the tools. Will you craft the armor for me? <clears throat> On condition you bring the tools. But only then. Hmm. Where is this thing? These legends mention where the forge might be? Yes. North side of the isle, in a cave. Clan folk carved out a rock face to build it. Boy, she knows an awful lot. I'm glad she was eavesdropping on our conversation. Look for the tools next time I'm in Skellige. Take care now. Hmm. Okay, new quest, Master Armorers. Cool. Let's check it out. Ooh, suggested level 24. Witchers live to kill monsters. And so they place great importance on the weapons and armor they use. Bodily harm is all too common in this profession. So whenever the chance arises to acquire better work clothing, the thinking witcher pounces on it like a cat on a plump mouse. Such a mouse skittered in front of Geralt's eyes at one point in the form of the dwarf Fergus, an armorer of great renown. The craftsman promised to forge top-notch equipment for our hero, but first he needed the appropriate tools. Geralt thus set out in search of them. Well, maybe later. <laughs> Level 24. I'm curious though. What if I, um... What if I tracked that quest? Let's look at the map and see where it tells us to go. Huh, that's interesting. It just takes us to a fast travel point, which makes me think that... Um... Yeah, Skellige Isles. I wonder if we could travel there already. I'm interested. 
So, yeah, we could even look at the map of Skellige. Look at that. Will it show where the uh, quest is? Um, it's not looking like it. Oh, whoa. Oh. Wow, how big is this place? This is as far out as I could zoom. She did say north. So maybe it is up here. On an island to the north, but I don't know why. Oh, no, no, right here. Okay, cool. Well, that's not north. Okay, cool. I just wanted to see. Get blacksmith's tools from Undvik. Cool. Alright. Well, that's kind of neat. I don't know whether I can travel there yet or not. Uh, let's see. There should be... Something to enhance either my weapons or armor around here. But I'm not seeing it. Can we talk to Joanna? Oh, how can I help you? Well... Uh, interesting accents. Interesting lilt in your voice. You originally from Skellige? Odd Skellig. Spent my whole childhood in Holmstein. Why'd you leave? Always had a liking for the smithy. I'd sit there all day taking things in. The heat of the furnace, the smell of the hot steel, the pounding hammers. At 17 winters, my dad told me he could teach me no more. Sent me out there into the world. Bid me to hone my craft. A few years on, I had my master crafting papers. Then the war broke out, and I landed here. Hmm. Okay. What do you got? What are you selling? What's good? Oh my. Uh. Ooh, neat. This is um. A shirt. <laughs> it's a shirt. Nothing to get excited about. Here's some horse blinders, and rugged. Ooh, rugged saddlebags. Wow. I want these. They're expensive, but I want them. I just bought them. They are now mine. I can now carry a lot more stuff. Let's see. She's got a uh, lesser glyph of Axie, lesser glyph of Erden, lesser glyph of Ard. She's got amateur's armor repair kit. Uh, some lead. Let's see. A diagram for tracker's boots. Cavalry boots. Tracker's trousers. Lesser glyph of Ard. Oh, I could make my own lesser glyph of Ard. Lesser Glyph of Axie, Hunter's Boots, Spikerug Ekaton. I don't even know what the hell that is. Sheodal's Armor. Hmm. Yeah, I kind of wish... Um, item info again. Still not working. What are you selling? Um, let's see this here. Turn on my Xbox controller so that I can... Uh, Look at this. Item info. Required level 24. Okay. This is a uh, Gambeson. Yeah, level 7. Okay. Level 9. Level 6. Cavalry trousers. Nothing too exciting there. Lesser glyph of infusion. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, lesser Glyph of Igni, and Lesser Glyph of Quinn. Hmm. Alright. So she's got an interesting... Interesting stock here. Diamond Dust, Amethyst Dust. Hmm. Alright, cool. Spectre Dust. Sounds neat. Uh, looks like she can't craft anything for us, though. Take care now. You take care now. Uh, I don't think I looked at his wares. I don't know if his are any different than hers. Oh, may I assist you? Let's take a look. Wouldn't mind a look at your stock. Uh, okay, so... Well, no, he sells some books. I didn't notice these before. It, it, yeah, he sells different stuff, all right. Tracker's boots, cavalry boots. Well, this is the same. Verdant archers, gambeson. So he sells some of the same stuff. A few different things, it looks like. Like, I don't remember seeing these in her stock. Care for your sword, soldier? Do it yourself. I wonder if these are worth buying. Ah, eh, screw it. I like books. I'm gonna buy them. Let's see what these were. Farewell. So long. So, we just picked up these two books. Do it yourself, it says. 
How many times have you cursed Taylor for sewing a shirt more crooked than that infamous home in Novigrad? Novigrad? How many times have you argu argued with the smith who proved unable to forge a simple horseshoe in a month? How many times will you steal food from your children's mouths because some armorer demands a Koviri fortune for a ho-hum helmet? Enough! Basta, I say, and so should you. Empowered by the tome you hold in your hands and a few simple tools, you shall be able to perform basic repairs all by yourself and perhaps even create something from scratch. So show those extortioners from the crafting guilds who shall make the fool of whom, roll up your sleeves and get to work. Does that give us any kind of abilities or anything? Um, well... Don't really see anything showing up here on my screen, so that's kind of disappointing. I was kind of hoping that I would learn something. The Natural Obscurity of Curses. I already read that. Where's the other book that we just bought? This one. Care for your sword, soldier. A soldier can wear a dirty jerkin, rank foot cloths, and stained greaves. A soldier can walk around unshaven, can stink to high heaven, or even have the mange. But his sword must always shine as if straight from the forge. For in a battle, neat clothing and an eye-pleasing appearance will not save anyone's life, but a sword will, as long as it's well cared for and the man at the dull end knows what he's doing. So, how should you care for your blade? Simple. After every battle, wipe all the blood and guts off it. Take an oil-soaked linen rag and give it a good rub down. If you're fighting in swamplands or in heavy rain, it's worth your while to coat the blade in beeswax. You should sharpen its edges regularly using a good whetstone. It's important to take your time in doing this. Each movement should be steady and delicate, like you're stroking a virgin on your first night together. It's exactly like that. If your sword develops rust, it means you're slovenly and lazy oaf. Take some sand in your hand at once and scour the blade till the stains disappear. Take heed, though, not to cut your fingers in the doing, for then you won't be any good to anyone. Ain't that the truth? I still think these look like 1980s basketball shorts. Okay, um, I still think that there's things here that I should be able to use to, um, are they on the other side? I'm looking at my mini map here. Yeah, I think they're on the other side. Let's take a look here. I just want to see. Yeah, right here. So right here, we can enhance our weapons, and then over here, we can enhance our armor. So that's good. I'll probably have to do that again, though. I don't think... I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to take a break now, and we'll see if my weapons and armor are still enhanced when we start the game up next time. Uh, let's see. Speaking of next time, what is it that we'll do? Um, we're going to look at this notice board next time and uh, see if there aren't any uh, new quests that appear as a result and uh, then we will decide what to do from there. I do hope you'll join me. And I certainly hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, why don't you consider leaving a like? Wow, this guy's beautiful. Feel free to leave a comment if you wish and if you're not a subscriber, why don't you consider subscribing? Thank you so much for watching. I do hope to see you again in the next episode.